What is up guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial here on this channel. Today we're going to be covering Spotless by Zach Bryan um, off of his new album. So basically the way I'm going to do this tutorial is I'm going to show you the chords as well as the strumming patterns that you're going to use to play this song and then I'm going to play through it in the very end so you can get kind of an idea what it's going to sound like. And if you're someone who struggles with singing along to the song, don't worry, I got you and I will be playing along to it as well as singing along to it uh, at the end of the video for copyright reasons. So as we, uh, as I walk you through the guitar part, I won't sing, but I will do that at some point in the video. So just make sure you keep watching. The only thing that's left to do is for you to like and subscribe. So this video gets pushed out to more people as well as you don't miss out on any further videos that I put out. All right, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, there's really annoying drilling going on so just excuse that it, it's been going on for five hours i'm not sure what they're doing but um yeah there's no point in waiting to record this because i think they're just going to keep going all right so you're not going to need a capo to play this song please shut all right and the chords that you're going to need to play this song are going to be c g a minor and f or f major seven that's usually uh, what's easier for beginners, so just do that. All right, let's start with the intro and the verses. So basically the chord progression that you're gonna have is gonna be C, G, ow, that was my knee that just cracked, but A minor and F major seven, just basically I just showed you. And for strumming pattern, just do a palm muted down strums with a up strum at the end. So something like down, 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 up. While you palm mute this, if you put that all together, it should sound something like this. Very easy. Then getting into the chorus, you are going to have the same chord progression. So again, you're going to have C, G, A minor, and F major 7, or F, whatever you like to play. All right, and then for strumming pattern for the chorus, what I recommend you doing is pretty much one strum it, but before you switch, you do a little down up, um, and then you switch to the chorus. So something like. Something like that. Again, if you need the lyrics over it, I will do that in the end, so just stick around for that. And then when we get to verse number two, it's basically, again, you're gonna keep that same chord progression throughout the entire song, but for strumming pattern, um, it's kind of down, 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 up, so basically consecutive down strum. What you can do is you can throw some up strums in there, but you don't really emphasize them. So what I mean with this, just very slight up strums. Something like that. Then again, if you put that all together, uh, verse number two should sound something like this. Again, what you can do here is you emphasize the first and the last down strum before you switch, and the rest you just kind of like very lightly and you know, like that. You do the same thing for verse number three, and then you get to the bridge where basically you start off with a G um, and then all you do is you basically have the chord progression A minor, C and F that are then going to repeat themselves um, throughout the entire bridge. So you only have the G at the very first, at the very beginning and then you just do like an A minor, C, F and then you repeat that. Now for strumming pattern for the G, for the first G, I recommend doing something like down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And then for A minor and the C, so for the second and third chord always, just do a little down, down, up. And then for the F, uh, which is the last chord, you then, you then do the same thing again. So something like down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. If you put that all together, it should sound something like that. So you do something like down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And then like a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Again, I'm going to sing through it in just a second. So just bear with me. We're almost done with the song. And then for the last, very last chorus, um, you're going to have the same chord progression as usual, with which is going to be C, G, a minor and F, F major seven, um, and you're basically just gonna one strum it. So I'll literally just do like a. Yeah, and this is literally, 
everything you need to know with all the strumming patterns and chord progressions that are included in the song. Now I am going to play through this so you can get kind of idea what it's going to sound like once you actually play it uh, all together. I will do this in an unlisted video right here though. I will obviously not monetize this so there's no ads for you that you need to sit through which I'm sorry for. But yeah, I'm literally just doing this for copyright reasons because I don't like my videos to get flagged down that much. So I'm trying to minimize that by just putting all the copyright stuff with the lyrics and stuff. Um, in a separate video, but again, you can just click right here and um, yeah, just keep watching. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're not going to watch this, then make sure you subscribe so you can you know not miss out on any further videos that I put out. So yeah, uh, check out my original music if you haven't already. Uh, which if you like Zach Bryan's music, you'll definitely like mine as well. I think so. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Click right here or peace out.